Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Today we are going to take out this radio, this stock radio, and fix it. Uh, I'm not going to replace it with an aftermarket deck yet. Uh, I'm not ready to do that yet. If I do that, I'm going to want to put in amps and I got to replace all the speakers. So I'm just going to try to fix the, uh, the bulbs in this thing because a lot of them are out and it's dim at night. And this is a perfect opportunity to test my new uh, power supply that I got from Amazon. So uh, I'm excited. We're going to take this out and we're going to see if we can fix some bulbs. All right, let's do it. All right, so removing this is very simple. You just start with this little trim bezel, take this one off, then you're gonna come over here, you gotta take this one off, and it's got uh, a couple screws in here. One screw, two screws, third in there kind of got to get that on an angle because of the steering wheel same thing with this one got that one ain't so bad and uh is that it oh yeah and there's uh Five more up here. Yeah, that's right, five. One. Oops. Two. Three. Sorry, I'm being reckless. Ugh, but I'm doing it one-handed. Come on, baby. <laughs> five all right now i know i said reckless but i'm just doing this oh i forgot one more one more right here being a little reckless with the screws and i'm just doing all of that the tilt steering down just to prove a point how easy it is to take this bezel off you can do it one-handed while filming. Just gotta give it a tug. It's got these little nubs. There we go. These little nubs get stuck up in there. So that's it. One-handed. And what, about three minutes, not even? Next thing I'm gonna do is put my 10 millimeter deep dish, a little impact gun, take out these things. There, there you have it, pretty simple. All right, now I'm just gonna put the camera down so I can slide out this radio and then I'm gonna use two hands to disconnect the back. All right, so here are the radio connections. I think you just push this tab down, pull out. That's easy. The ground just comes right off. So does the antenna. That comes out. And this is what I need to put the camera down for. There's two little tabs in there that I'm going to use a screwdriver to pop out. Just kind of flick these little tabs that are on the outside of each of these plugs. That's it. <laughs> Radio's out. All right, we're gonna bring this to the bench and we're gonna test it with my new power supply. All right, guys, so to test this on the bench, I'm going to use my new power supply. Ta-da! No, I guess this could sort of be an unboxing. Um, <laughs> I did already open it. I was too curious, I couldn't wait. Uh, they thanked me for my purchase, so that's fantastic. Um, and let's see. Check that out. How do you say that? Long way? LW? Let's call it an LW. Cool. So this looks good. Put this over here. All right, so I bought this power supply because the one I made, <laughs> it kind of blew up on me. But, uh, well, check this out. This is uh, 
manufactured in 2006. It was in my computer for about nine years. Uh, the computer crashed. I had the computer laying in the basement. I decided to take it apart. Um, I made this power supply out of it. I used it for about a year. It was great for testing uh, cheap parts. Um, and, uh, well, it blew out, and uh, it owes me nothing, so I'm gonna, I don't know, hold on to this maybe, so I can use these components for something else, but I decided to buy a professional, well, not a professional, it's kind of a um, intermediate power supply, I mean, the really good ones go for, you know, a few hundred dollars, this was uh, a $68 power supply, got it on Amazon Prime, uh, shipped it in two days, can't beat it. Um, so yeah, I'll pop a link in the description if you guys want to get this. So let's hook this up and I'll show you how to test the radio. Alright, so this is what I use to test the uh, Chrysler radios. Now, um, yeah, <laughs> I've done this before. <laughs> These are factory Chrysler wire harness um, radio plugs. Now this is what goes into the radio. Let's see. This one goes in here. Black one in here, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these into the aftermarket radio wire harness. And this has a little map on it, and it tells you what each of these wires mean. So like here, the yellow is 12 volt from the battery. Red is 12 volt ignition. Uh, speaker wires, illumination. And on the black one, uh, more speaker wires, so on and so forth. So <clears throat> to figure out which random wires these are. You're gonna just trace this through the connector. You're gonna use the power wires, trace it through, and you can see they're stripped already. So this is what I'm gonna to use to power this up. Um, and I'm going to use the, what is this, the green wires. The green is the, it tells you. Green is left rear speaker. So I'm going to trace these through, boom, left rear positive, left rear negative, so this is going to be where I'm getting my sound from, and here's going to be the power, and of course, ground on these radios is attached right to the uh, shell. So I'm going to plug this all in, and see if we can get some, uh, something to work. set these aside for later use because essentially they're just my maps and plug these in now make sure this is uh, at 110 and plug in the power supply Power it on, dial it into 12 volts. So we got 12 volts there. I'm gonna use my alligator clips that it came with. Positive. Negative. We got our ground here and uh, power up here. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, power, cool. AM. Let's see when we turn on the radio. We got uh, 12.43 volts and uh, teetering around one amp. So let's hook up a speaker. See if we can get some noise out of this thing. <laughs> cool. It would help if I had an antenna. Alright, now I'm going to hook up my illumination and we'll see which bulbs are out. <laughs> and you can see it better with the lights out. So <laughs> let's take this apart and see what's inside. Alright, first thing you're going to do, take this apart. You're going to remove the faceplate. And the faceplate comes off with these two screws on the side. 
Now this is not just for uh, ZJ's. Um, I think Dodge Rams have this. Uh, Durango's have this. Uh, what's the minivan? The Town and Countries. A lot of Dodge, Chryslers, and Jeeps all share the same parts. So this factory Chrysler tape deck, CD player, and radio is in many vehicles. <clears throat> so if you ever need replacement pieces, they should be readily available. So all four screws are out, they're set aside. I'm gonna use that same little screwdriver and just pry up these little tabs and try to pull away from the radio. Get these out. And these tabs are all around the perimeter. So I'm just gonna work my way around, releasing tabs and prying away. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to take off the volume knob. <laughs> Yep, gets me every time. The volume knob and the bass, mid, <laughs> and treble knobs. These all come first. Whoops. My bad. Oops, my bad. <laughs> all right. <laughs> there, now it's off. And here she be. Now these are all the light bulbs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got nine bulbs. Now let me power this thing up again and we'll see how many bulbs actually light. One, two, three, four, five, six bulbs are on. One, two, three bulbs are out. Now let's gain access to these bulbs and we will replace them. All right, this is also very simple to take apart. There is just two screws in this main circuit board. One and two is up here. And you're gonna need a small pliers so you can bend this locking tab over. And this should just slide out. There you go. I'll set this aside. And we'll look at this. There. Check it out. Look at all these little bulbs. <laughs> now we're going to take them out one at a time with this little screwdriver. And they all get like a quarter of a turn to unlock them. And you can just kind of push them out. There, it is bulbless. Set this aside. All right, here's another cool way to test these little bulbs. You got a nine volt battery connected to some wires. And since these are incandescent bulbs, they're not LEDs, any which way you touch the positive and negative should light them up. There we go. Works. I don't remember which one doesn't, but that works. But we're gonna replace them all. And I'll show you what we're gonna replace them with. I got a pack of bulbs on Amazon. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Here they are. So I'll put a link to these bulbs, 7219. And I'll uh, put a link in the description. Let's put these bulbs in these sockets. We are gonna have to reuse this little uh, rubber tip. So we'll slide these off and we're gonna have to open up these little sockets and take the bulbs out. So I'm gonna use a little right angle pick. I'm just gonna flick the little wire off this perch here. There we go. And when it's off, you can just bend it around, follow the path. There we go. We got one laid out. Do the same thing for this side. Let's give this a little flick with the pick. There. Follow the path all the way out. There. Straighten these out. And pull the bulb right through. Cool. 
So we're saving this socket and we're chucking the bulb. Brand new bulb. And I'm gonna run the bulb through the little holes in the socket. I'm gonna slide on the cap. There. And I'm gonna reroute these right back where they came from. From whence it came. From whence they came. You can always use the pick to help. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna stuff it in. There. I'm gonna call that good. I'm just gonna test it with the 9 volt. Probably should have tested it before I went through all that trouble wrapping it. But it lights, nonetheless. Sweet victory. Sweet victory! Oh. Alright, three weeks later, I'm on my last bulb. <laughs> Didn't take that long. Kind of got it down to a science. So there. That's wrapped. And I'm going to test these all with the 9 volt. And fix bulbs will make me happy. <laughs> There we go. They all work. Time to put them back in the radio. <laughs> We're fixing Jeeps here on the project. One bulb at a time. All right, now we'll put it back together and test it out. Oh yeah, and there is a tenth bulb right in here. That's the tape deck illumination, but uh, I'm not uh, I'm not even gonna mess with that. <laughs> that is too deep for even me. All right, slide this on. Gently pushed into place. Let me hook up my power supply once again. All right, guys, we got the ground hooked up. Now I'm just gonna touch the power pin to the illumination. Oh yeah. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're all good to go. All right, gonna put this thing back together. All right, so we're just gonna reassemble this the exact way we took it apart. And we've got the bulbs in already. We've got our circuit board back on the radio. We're just gonna hand tighten these screws, get them nice and snug. <laughs> One, two, and three. <laughs> Used it already, can't use it again. I'm just going to tighten this lock back on. There, that should be good. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm just going to wipe any fingerprints or dust off this display. Dry paper towel. And before I put the faceplate back on, I'm just going to dab a little bit of Mother's Aluminum Polish. On a microfiber rag and I'm gonna polish the plastic this actually gets rid of all the little minor scratches that makes it look nice and clean so yes that is a project Dan H special secret tip mother's aluminum polish on plastic you could use this on your uh, your gauge cluster get rid of any scratches or stains on the gauge cluster too very good. Thank you, Mother. Mothers. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> okay. Slide this on. Line up all the tabs. And line up your fade selector. There. Clips right on. Before I forget, 
going to get these little tips on the base <laughs> mid and treble or yeah treble mid bass if you're going backwards like me and line up the D on the volume knob cool that's great and the very last thing to do is the four screws on the side Now, I believe this CD player works. Um, I think the tape deck works. Uh, I don't have any tapes. God, it's been like 20 years since I've had a tape. Oh my gosh. Mixtapes. <laughs> you put in that blank cassette in your stereo, listen to the radio, hit play, record on the track B. <laughs> when you want to get a new song, <laughs> that's old school piracy. Not to mention, uh, <laughs> when I graduated to uh, CDs, what was it? LimeWire, Morpheus, Napster, BitTorrent. Man, call me pirate, Dan H. Jeez. So, yeah. There it is, looking good. I'm gonna hit it with my special sauce. Yeah, it's going back in. <laughs> Tape deck. All right, so obviously the install is the exact opposite of the uh, Outstall. <laughs> I love technical terms. So, uh, yeah, gonna make all these connections. Gonna plug them back in. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Let me think of something to say. Um, music is good. <laughs> I like to listen to music. I'd be listening to it right now. If it wasn't for the copyright infringement YouTube bags me with. Uh, I'm not going to sing. I'm just going to get to work. Chat a little bit. Put this thing back together. Quick, favorite song. In the comments right now. I don't think I have a favorite song. God, that's got to be the toughest question to ask somebody. What is your favorite song? You know what? That might be the second toughest I think the toughest is, what's your favorite movie? Yeah. That's a tough question. All right, before I put this whole thing back together, let me just see if this works. Da -da 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 -da. Well, that's a good sign. Power. It's a great sign. And for World Pride. I want to know. Fade. All right, my left rear speaker's out. <laughs> oh, Yankees. Uh, don't want to lose the score. Yeah. Everything works. Cool. All right, I'm going to put this back in. I'll check up with you later. Screws are all in. Just put the dash trim back on. Very cool. Last piece. There you have it. And there it is, guys. Restored factory radio. 
All right, guys, that's going to do it for this simple video. Uh, anybody can fix their radio. All you got to do is get the bulbs online. That was the hardest thing to find. And make sure you save those sockets. If you break them, you might be out of luck. You're going to have to get a new factory radio or find somebody that sells those little sockets. So uh, that's it. Bulbs are in. Everything looks good. Uh, nice, clean radio. So thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. And check the link in the description below if you want that power supply or these bulbs. And uh, that's it, guys. Peace. It works! It works! <laughs>